Blessed love to my viewers and my subscribers. I hope everybody having a blessed and a wonderful day. Now, my people, Russian, the brother we see on your screen that took the life of Kemisha Wright and her four children, them, get baptized while in custody. Remember, him there in prison, I serve a lengthy life sentence. And uh, this man turned him life over to God. Now, who are we to judge him? You understand what I say? Him decides him to make the right move and him to turn him life over to God. Because most likely him did possess with the devil or something. And him finally find himself now. You understand? And that is why I say, in everything you do, always put God first. In every and uh, any situation, always remember to call upon God. Always remember to pray. Because a prayer day, keep the devil away. Yo, dance all royalty review TV. Drop the bad review them, no man. You know, see, you always drop the bad review them, you know. People, remember to subscribe and like. People, remember to subscribe and like. So, welcome back to my viewers and my subscribers, them. Remember to give the video a thumbs up. Please give this video a like. You understand me? I say, like the content and share the content. And if you're on your viewers, first time on my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you will be first to be notified. Alright? Now my people, kill a Russian barnet, baptized in prison. Two months after being served a five life sentence for the last life of his family members, in Cocoa Peace Clarendon, convicted killer, Russian barnet has decided to give his life to the Lord. Can I get a amen, church? Can I get a amen? The 23-year-old was reportedly baptized during a ceremony held at the Tower Street Correctional Center where he is being kept. We make him know, say, once him come into God's family, he no longer condemn. We don't preach and teach condemnation. Society might condemn you, but in this world, once you live for God, you are not condemned. But if you live in sin, you are condemned. So we kind of bring it across to him so him can understand and get the point where he said, I surrender. A well-placed source said, This source described the occasion as something else, as a principal murderer, sobbed a little before surrendering his life. Well, he never really cried, but you could feel the sorrow in his heart. The source told our news team via telephone on Thursday. Barney 23 was sentenced to life in prison in October for the murder of his cousin, Kemisha Wright, 31, and her four children. Her bodies were discovered in their Cocoa Peace home in Clarendon with chop wounds and their throats slashed. On June 21st, Barnett, who is from Wilson Run, Trelawney, will have to serve 61 years and 8 months before eligible for parole. The incident shocked the island as many describe Barnett as a monster. However, the source disclosed that Barney testified strongly about the case and speak about what happened to him. It was not him, but it was him. So basically, Barney still has a vice attack in him head. He still has a vice in him head attack. A vice tell him to do what he do. A him, but not him. You understand what I say? So, it's just sad. He was just a vessel that used to carry out this act. He said, Listen, church, me can't believe, me surprise myself, me can't believe me would have do something like this. It was like he was saying he was overtaken by spirits. So they end up after prayer over him before baptized. This word said, Barnett is a 42 inmate to be baptized since January, with the majority of them serving life sentence. The source also added that Barnett was now in his right mind. After spending several weeks in counseling with the prison chaplain, the source also stated that the baptism was attended by someone inside the prison. As a matter of fact, the baptism was already stated and he sent word that he wanted to baptize. So the officers had to go and escort him. That was the situation, the source said. The individual said that when inmates gave their life to the Lord, they received teaching about the words for them to understand what they are getting into. The chaplain also provided biblical and physical counseling to ensure inmates fully understand the step they are taking. True. Sometimes, some of the guys would accept and say, yes, they want to serve the Lord. 
but at the end of the day they were just in a moment where everything were going in a particular way so you just want to be a part of the fever this word said up and hearing the news of barnet baptism Gwendolyn McKnight, the mother and grandmother of the deceased, was overjoyed. Miss Gwendolyn responded, He baptized Elijah Jesus. Um, I always tell myself, because I forgive him, I hope God speak through him and hope he changed his lifestyle and know what he did was wrong to his own flesh and blood who cared about him. I just wish him all the best in there. McNay said. Defense attorney Tamika Harris, who represent Barnett at his trial, also expressed joy. If this is true, I am happy that he turned himself over to the Lord, Harris said. Well, my viewers and my subscribers, if all of this are true, then I'm really happy for the brother. You understand? I'm happy to say, him find himself and him find God, and God has speak through him. You understand? Because most of them people, you know, basically do some terrible act, you know. So my time them turn out to be some good prophet as well, you know. And be some some um good messenger from God, you know. You understand me I say? So some my time them can bounce back. And my only hope God use him to bring out the message. You understand? And get more people to turn them life over. That's all I can say. If him baptized for true, then I want to say congratulations to him. You understand me? I say, Miss Gwen say, she forgive him. I fear her daughter and granddaughter, them grandson, him took them life. And she said, she forgive him. You understand me? I say, so if this is true, my people, me hope him hold up him head high and praise the Lord for true. And don't turn back. You understand? Hold up your head high and move forward. Hold your head high and move forward and continue to praise the Lord and don't be ungrateful to Him. You understand me and say, He must speak to you now. Him, you say, you're, you're in one good spirit now. That means say, the evil spirit, you say, when they fall back at you, then basically left you now. You understand me and say, the vices, you say, they talking to your head, it actually stop talking to your head now. So, all you need to do now is just praise the Lord. And if it for God will, then you will come out in due time become spread his word. You understand God will use you to spread across his message and save more soul. You understand what I mean? So people, let me know what's the thought down below in the comment section. When you think this brother is baptized and he must stay baptized, when you forgive him now that he's baptized or what? Let me know what you all think down below in the comment section. And as usual, my people, remember to like the video, share the video, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. You understand me? I say, please like the video. Leave a like on the video. That's all I'm asking for. Just a like on the video. It make YouTube recommend the video to a wider audience, my people. You understand? When you like the video, YouTube recommend the video to a wider audience. So please like the video. That's all I'm begging for. A like. Alright? Best up. Love, peace out.